and a couple of weeks ago I went out and I bought a bunch of stuff from the Milani uh, line of makeup. I bought eye primer, face oil, concealer, I brought, bought the Focus Glow, the mascara, the primer, everything and I said that I would sit down and do a video with you guys of me like applying it and how I wear it and um, how it goes on what it looks like afterwards and I have been wearing it for for quite some time and with the I've been getting from you guys is your face looks amazing you're glowing that looks awesome on you okay so great that's wonderful um, but I wanted you guys to see how it goes on you know what I mean and I don't mean to like oh that's wonderful that just kind of sounded funny okay moving on so I'm already like I've already taken a shower my hair is wet I'm gonna go do my hair here shortly in a little bit after I get all my makeup on and I just wanted to um, share with you guys how I put all of this makeup on and these products that I'm absolutely loving right now okay so the first things first is the Milani um, prep brighten rose face oil and Again, I've never ever used like a face oil because I always thought that it was gonna make, leave my face so, so oily, but I have a solution for that now and I'll share that with you guys later on. But that is not a Milani product. The, I'll show you guys later. Okay, so anyway, first things first is I take the rose oil and it has like a little dropper. So you just squeeze the top of it like this and you can just put a little bit um, on the dropper and then put some on your hand like this. And then I just kind of smear it in on my hand a little bit. And then I think I got a little too much. Uh, and then I just kind of put it on my face like this. And I just kind of put it all the way around my face. And it just, it actually smells so nice. And I, like I said, I never used oil on my face before because I always felt that it like left my face looking too oily or that it would cause more breakouts or whatever. But I, I don't have oily skin anyway. So it's not like this added extra oil this was just like a nice like tone like a base and I have really loved it so I've been using it probably every day now for the past two weeks and it has definitely made a huge difference in my skin the way that my makeup looks the way that it applies the way that it like all just kind of goes on and I've been super impressed by by how it looks so okay so then the next thing that I do after that and that's all like you know in my face I will go with the Milani prime light this is just like the Milani primer and I will do the same thing with that is I will just put some on my finger and I will blend it in just a little bit and then I will take it and I will put it all over my face just like I did the rose oil all in the same spot and this is just a primer that um, you put on your face so all of your makeup kind of stays in its place. I am not like a makeup, like cosmetic or makeup guru, I guess you could say, or cos, I don't even know, makeup artist. I just put it on according to how I watch people put it on and in the order that it should go in and how to do it. So I just learn from watching YouTube which that's pretty much how a lot of people learn how to do things. So anyway, I just put that all on and I just kind of wipe off the excess on my hands or whatever. And then I just kind of let that like get into my skin. It is so pretty. I just love the way that it goes on. It's just so nice. And then the next thing that I will put on is the Milani um, Focus Glow. This stuff is amazing. So right now my face already has like a ni nice like sun-kissed look to it. This I thought would probably like cover up my sun-kissed look. This would probably like make it, I would look more pale with it, but it doesn't. It actually, it enhances it and it doesn't actually even cover it up. So I still remain, I still keep the same glow. So the same thing with the other, that stuff. I just put it on my hand like this and then I just kind of put it on. You guys can see it like blends in so nicely. You can see it's like almost the same skin it's almost the same color as my skin which again that's why I was like oh my gosh this stuff is amazing so I just kind of put it all down here so it blends in really well I put it on my nose forehead get it all in there blended in there nicely oh my gosh I mean you guys can see how nicely this stuff goes on and look at that it's 
it's just like you don't have anything on, which is amazing. I love it. Just so nice. This stuff is so good, so good, so good. Okay, so then the next thing that I will put on is the Milani concealer. And basically, this is the, I love the applicator on it. And I will just put a little bit like underneath here. And this actually just, it's just a concealer. It kind of like covers up some of the dark spots that I have underneath my eyes. And then it like brightens it up underneath there as well. And I actually just use a little blending sponge, beauty, beauty blender for all that. And I get it like right up underneath there. That way it just kind of brightens up that area and covers up any of those little dark spots that I might have underneath there. And again, I just kind of blend it in so it just starts looking really, really nice. So again, blending it. We're blending. Have you guys ever seen that movie, Blended, with Adam Sandler? So when they said, blending, we're blending. And then it just looks, okay, so here we go. So you can see like some of it kind of like goes right underneath there, but eventually it's all going to like I don't know it just all kind of just sits so well on my face that it just all seeps in is that like a word that you use it would just like seep in your face and you can't even tell that you have any of it on so it's just I don't know it's just amazing that it just looks so natural and just like you effortless like you didn't really do anything I have to work really hard to do anything at all all right so then the next thing that i will do is i will put on the milani eyeshadow primer now you guys have been watching me for a while you guys know that i have swore by oh my goodness the urban decay i've i've always used like the urban decay eye primer but because i'm just trying to give the milani stuff a try i wanted to do everything with it so i decided to get the eye primer and you just put a little bit on your finger like this and then just put some on your eyelids and then i just kind of smear it all in and i just make sure that i have it all on top because i go all the way up right underneath my eyebrow um with my eyeshadow so that will be next but look i mean it's just so nice and again it just helps your eyeshadow stay on it doesn't help it like flake off or anything like that or crease where it shouldn't be creasing all right so now with the eyeshadow so this eyeshadow is the milani salt and sultry palette it is really pretty it's got so many really pretty colors in it that and i like these type of colors i like natural colors i like neutral colors i don't like things that are so like bright on my face but this one is absolutely gorgeous so i start off with and it's probably going to be so hard for me to see these because i can't really read them all Alrighty, so i start off with like a very light color so i will start off with like this color right here in the center which is diamonds and pearls so i start off with diamonds and pearls and then I'll just go ahead and apply it on the my eyelid I just get it all over my eyelid now mind you I said before I am NOT a makeup artist I have never been to school put, to put this makeup on I just put the makeup on and do it according to how I like the way that it looks so I just want to put that out there as a disclaimer not a makeup artist not a professional on putting on makeup so i just put it on the way i like it so anybody who wants to leave nasty comments about that save your time because i don't care <laughs> but anyway i just you know i'm actually having a lot of fun just trying out new makeup new products and ways to apply it and just to see how well it works for me and so far so good i'm really enjoying just trying stuff out okay so then the next thing that i do once i get both of those on my lids the next thing i will do is i will go to it's a little bit darker color and i'm going to use the soft touch which is the set the right one right here in the center the soft touch and i will just take this with my angled brush and i'll just put it right here on the top so i just kind of go like this right up here at the top and i will put that on there to my desired specification to my desired look how i like it how dark i want it to be right underneath my brow bone right there and then i will do both okay sides. so moving on to the other side i will do the same thing on this side and i will just put it right underneath my brow bone you can see where it's going on right there right underneath that brow bone like i said i kind of just put it on to my like specifications on how dark i want 
it to look right there. I'll add some more so you can see now how you can see I'm getting some of the color on there. All right, the next thing that I will do, and I do not know um, like what brush this is. This is from BH Cosmetics. Um, but I will go to like the next, like a darker color. And it looks like I've been using this one right here the most, which is, um, what is that one? Sweeter than chocolate, I think. Maybe that one's sweeter than chocolate. So now I'll just take it like this, and then basically what I'll do, tap it off just a little bit, and I'll put it right here in the corner of my eyes, right here, because it kind of gives it that like, what is that? I don't even know what that's called in the corner. <laughs> You can see how well I don't know makeup. So I'll do the same thing on this side. Oh, smoky eye. Because it kind of gives you that like smoky eye over here on this side. So this is how I do it. So I just take it and just continuously go like this until I get it to how dark or how I like the way that it looks. Again, can't say enough, I'm not a makeup artist. So however it goes on is the way that I'll decide if I like it or not. If I have to start over, I will start over. All right, so the next thing that I'll go to after I've done put on those three shadows is I will go to my eyeliner. Now, this eyeliner is not a Milani eyeliner. This is my L'Oreal eyeliner in the 171. Um, it comes in this little, like, container. Love this thing. And it comes with an applicator. So that's what I like about this um, eyeliner is that it comes with an applicator and then I could put this on how I want to, as thick as I want to, as thin as I want to, because it, it's not a, it's not like a, a pencil that's controlled. Does that make sense? I like the way that this goes on. So anyway, I just take a little bit, I'll put it on and make sure there's no little hairs on it. And then I will just, just very lightly tap right above good grief what is on this thing right above my eyelashes and i'll just put on a nice thin line you know enough where you can see it but enough enough to where you can see it but also not thick enough to where it looks really bad so i just like a nice thin straight line and this is what i like about this is because Usually like pencils, you have to like draw it on. And with this one, I can just nicely like tap it on. So it kind of gives me, it gives me the control that I need um, in order not to like mess it up. And I have like makeup right there. Okay, so continuing on. And then I just kind of like go all the way over to the very corner of my eye. Just like this. So I know a couple of you guys have been asking where this video was, and it's so funny. I had already done this video once. I did not like the way that it turned out. I did not like, like, the angle that I was at when I was doing it, because I was doing it over here on my table behind me. Did not like that. And I'm like, I have got to figure out a way where I can do it, where I have my lights in front of me and the camera in front of me as well, so you guys can actually see and follow along as well when I'm putting this stuff on. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and do the same thing with the other eye. Um, obviously, you can't go without, can't put one on one eye and not put it on the other. Am I correct? So let's go ahead and do that. We're still here, flipping coins about what's to Once that is on, um, I will go ahead and just put that away. Uh, the next thing that I will do is I will put on my mascara. Now, I will have to say, I've not been impressed with the Milani mascara at all. Um, I always use my Maybelline mascara. This is something that I, I've like swore by. I have tried other mascaras and I just always seem to go back to the Mil go back to the Maybelline one, but because I'm doing the whole Milani thing here, I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys um how this works um because I said I was doing a whole Milani thing. Now minus the eyeliner is not Milani. But anyway, so I put on my mascara which i mean this mascara isn't bad it's just i don't know it's just not my favorite it's not like horrible either it's definitely something that i wouldn't purchase again i wasn't like in love with it i wasn't like oh my god i have to have this mascara no but i definitely will use it until it's gone because i paid for it so 
but I don't mind. I like the way that it kind of like lifts and separates as well. So that's always a good thing because you know you always like your mascara to like lift and separate your eyelashes just to make them a little fuller and plumper. And you guys can see like right there how it like they're all separated. They're not like um, spidery or cakey or anything like that. So you can see how nicely that works. And it's got like kind of a, a weird type of brush too. It's kind of like a, a rippled brush. It's not like one of those like normal straight brushes. So, I mean, like I said, it's not horrible. It's just not my favorite. Uh, but it does go on very nicely. It does apply very nicely. And like I said, I do like the fact that it does like lift and separate your eyelashes. So that is a plus in itself that I really do like. So let me go ahead and finish applying this. The next thing that I will do after I'm finished with my mascara is I will go back to my palette and I will pull out my other BH um, Cosmetics brush and I will go to another, the lighter color like right here at the top and I will put a little bit on my brush and then I will take it and put it right underneath my eyebrow right there. I will just put it right, just a little bit right underneath there. You can see how it kind of like it highlights it, it kind of like brightens it up a little bit, and I like that. It just kind of like opens it up a little bit. Makes your eye pop a little, and I like that. So right underneath my eyebrow, right there. And I like that. So you can see how it kind of like brightened it up a little bit. All right, and the next thing that I'll do is I will take another brush and I'll just kind of blend everything in so it just kind of looks a little blended. And then it just kind of like makes everything come together so nicely. And you can see how it just kind of like blends everything together so nicely. And I'll take a little bit, um, I'll take a smaller brush and I'll go back to that little dark, the dark stuff that I used um, on the sides. I'm getting makeup everywhere. And I'll just kind of brush a little bit like right underneath my eye, right here, right here in the corner. Just to kind of like give a little color to my eye underneath there. So pretty. You guys can see how it looks. Does it look good? Can you see it? There we go. Looks nice. All right. Now, the other thing, I just started trying this the other day. This is not a Milani product. So I just wanted to show you guys. So the other day, I got my very first like eyebrow pencil and I'm like oh my gosh this is this is what it's like to color your eyebrows this is crazy this is amazing oh my god where have I been forever so I tried it you guys in the video everybody was like yes Angie oh my god your eyebrows look amazing with it okay so this is not Milani let me just say that again this is not Milani this is an elf product um, this is from elf. This is in the blonde color and I Again for the first time the other day. I just like put some on and I was like, oh my gosh Okay, this stuff is amazing and it's so funny because I really thought like Brian would pay attention and he didn't he didn't even like notice that my eyebrows were colored or anything like that so anyway so good it's kind of like not noticeable but noticeable it's like if you're really looking then you'll notice that i have some on but i mean this is so good i was so happy about it and then like everybody's like yes yes do that so there it is so there's that and then the next thing that i was going to show you guys was another product that is not milani but something that i learned about the like how you when your face looks a little bit oily or it looks very bright and you can see kind of like in some places it looks a little shiny well i got the fit me powder by maybelline <coughs> the other day and when i tried it okay first First things first, I'm having a hot flash, so let's hold, please. I gotta like let my face my. 
Okay, so the just a little bit of the powder that I will just kind of put all over my face because that way it just kind of like tones down the shine just a little bit and it just, it just, you know, really accentuates and just brightens up your face too, but it actually takes away all of that shine, which is really nice. Probably not right now while I'm having hot flash. It's probably not nice, but it just kind of takes down that shine. You can see it just kind of like dulls it down a bit, which is really nice. And I like that. So I like the fact that it does that. Now, the only thing that I don't ever use is like blush or anything like that. I really haven't found like a blush that I like. Not that I really need a blush, but I mean, some people like blushes, but I haven't really tried one. So I don't know if you guys have any like you know, favorite blushes that you guys use, leave them in the comments below and let me know. But other than that, that is it. That is like how I get ready for every day. That's my everyday makeup routine. All of the stuff again was Milani, except for the face powder, the e.l.f. Um, eyebrow, and what else was not, what else was not? Oh, my eyeliner. So those are the three things that were not in the Milani line, um, but everything else was. And I will say, I actually love the Milani line, the brand of Milani. And I will have to say like the, the Milani Soft Focus Glow has actually been my favorite because like I said, it didn't take away my sun-kissed glow. It just kind of enhanced it and added to it. So it just kind of made it look really, really nice. You guys, I'm sweating. So that like powder is just kind of sitting up there. But eventually it'll like blend in. I like it. But anyway, so yeah. So there you have it. There you guys have it. So if you guys liked these little videos with me and you guys enjoyed me trying out this new product, these new makeup, this new makeup and showing you guys how I apply it, how I wear it, how it looks, how I, how whatever, um, leave me a comment below. Let me know because I think my next like stuff I'm going to use is the e.l.f. products because I'm really like liking those right now. So I think I'm going to try the e.l.f. products and uh, yeah. So let me know if this is something you continue to like and interested in. If so, then I will continue to do these. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.